hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel in today's tutorial i am going to discuss how to arrange panel data into an excel file for panel data analysis so let's start as you can see in this excel sheet we presented the detail about balance panel data the balance panel data have the same number of observation for each variable and time period which means that for every selected variable you must have data for all the sample countries like in this excel sheet we have data for four variables for five countries and each country have data for five years from 2019 to 2023 looking at this particular data sheet in the first row you must mention the name of all the entities like country year and variables may use the abbreviation for each attribute Looking at the columns, in the first column, you must need to mention the name of the country. So in our example, we have mentioned five countries, like one is the symbol used for country one, two is the symbol used for country two, and so on up to country five. So our data set consists of data for five countries. In the very second column, you have to mention the particular period or year. In our data set, the time under consideration was from 2019 to 2023. So for every country, we must have data from 2019 to 2023 respectively. The third column in our data set contain the value for the dependent variable. The fourth, fifth, and the sixth column represents the data for independent variables. So you have to input data for all the variables for all the countries from 2019 to 2023. The data for the variable can be entered into the Excel sheet by copy and paste method and you may enter data manually for all the selected variables for all the countries. One important thing is that you must use clear and concise name for your variables. This makes it easier to understand your data and conduct analysis later on. Like in this Excel sheet, we have four variables. The first variable is the dependent variable, which is abbreviated as ROA. And the full name of the variable is return on assets. While the other variables are OC, MO and FS. These are the abbreviation for the independent variables like OC is the abbreviation of ownership concentration, MO is used for managerial ownership and FS represents firm size respectively. As you can see, I change the color for each country to differentiate them from each other. So you can see that like this way your panel data sheet get ready for analysis. As our sample sheet consists of data of only for 5 countries and 4 variables, you may add more variables, more countries and also increase the number of observation for each country. So we have successfully created an excel sheet for panel data analysis. So don't hesitate to experiment with your own data set. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Feel free to ask any question in the comment section below. Thank you very much.